So this is the type of mirror that we use in our daily lives, right? And this mirror is called as a plane mirror. But we think that this is the only type of mirror that we use every day. This is not the case. Mirrors are of different types and we use them every day without even realizing that we are actually using them. So mirrors are of two types, plane mirrors and spherical mirrors, right? So in this chapter, we are going to deal with spherical mirrors. But in order to understand reflection from spherical mirrors, we need to understand how spherical mirrors are made. But in order to understand how spherical mirrors are made, we need to understand how plane mirrors are made. So let us go to the workshop and try to understand how plane mirrors are made. But before that, let us get ready. So now that we are in the workshop, let's try and understand how plane mirrors are made. Now, in the making of a plane mirror, there are many steps involved. But we have broken it down into three simple steps. In the first step, we need to take a transparent glass sheet. Now, what we want from the mirror is a reflection. That means we need to apply the best reflecting surface. And the best reflecting surface is silver. So let us coat this with a layer of silver. Let us paint it with a layer of silver. So here I have silver. Let's coat a layer of silver now. So here we have coated it with a layer of silver. Now we know that silver is a metal and metals react with oxygen in the air. So if they react with the oxygen in the air, we know oxidation reaction would take place. And due to which this silver might get corroded, thereby decreasing the efficiency of the mirror. So now we need to protect it. So to protect silver, we need to coat it with a layer of lead oxide. So let us do that. So here I have lead oxide. Let us coat it. So here it's done. So now what we need to understand is when I coated it with a layer of silver, we were getting reflection. But the moment I coated it with a layer of lead oxide, you can see that we have protected it. But now it has become opaque. But if you remember, in the first step, we took a transparent glass sheet. So now, when we turn it, you can see that you are getting reflection. So what did we actually do here? We took a transparent glass sheet. That was our first step. In the second step, we coated it with a layer of silver. Then to protect silver, in the third step, we coated it with a layer of lead oxide. So here, what we need to realize is that the side where we coat or the side where we paint, do we get reflection from the same side? No, we get reflection from the opposite side. This is very, very, very important. So here, this was the making of a plane mirror. Now, what we need to understand is how do we represent a plane mirror on a piece of paper or a sheet of paper? What we need to do is we need to draw a straight line like this and some oblique lines where we have painted it, right? So if we keep it over here, we can see that this particular side is the reflecting surface and that side is the opaque surface. So this was the making of a plane mirror. So if you see an actual mirror, this is how the actual mirror looks like. So here you see this is the painted portion which is the opaque surface and this is the reflecting surface. So here when you keep it like this, this side is actually the opaque surface. So you draw a hatching line like this and this becomes the reflecting surface. So reflecting surface and the opaque surface. So now that we have seen how plane mirrors are made, now we need to understand how spherical mirrors are made. But before that, let us understand the types of spherical mirrors. There are two types of spherical mirrors, convex and concave. The word con means a curve and vex means outwards. Similarly, con means a curve and cave means inwards. So convex means a curve outwards, whereas concave means a curve inwards, right? So in a convex mirror, the reflecting surface is on the outside and in a concave mirror, the reflecting surface is on the inside. You need to remember this. Convex mirrors, reflecting surface on the outside. Concave mirrors, reflecting surface on the inside. So now let us try and understand how these spherical mirrors are made. Now, 
in the making of a plane mirror, in the first step, we took a transparent glass sheet. Here, we need to take a transparent glass sphere. So here we have a transparent glass sphere. Now, this sphere is a hollow sphere. Remember this, that this transparent sphere is a hollow sphere. Now, we need to take a part of this sphere. So we took a part of this sphere and now we know that we need to paint it with a layer of what? Best reflecting surface. What is that? Silver, right? Now, over here, we need reflection on which side? This is concave. So we need reflection on the inside. Now, we concluded something that the side where we paint or the side where we coat, do we get reflection from the same side? No, we get reflection from the opposite side. So here we need reflection on the inside. So we need to paint on the outside. So we paint a layer of silver on the outside. To protect this, what do we do? We coat it with a layer of paint containing lead oxide. So on the outside we have painted. So on the inside you will see a reflecting surface. So this is the reflecting surface which is on the inside and on the outside we have the opaque surface. Now this is a concave mirror. Similarly, we need to make a convex mirror. So we take a part of this hollow sphere. Now this is a convex mirror, right? Now to make a convex mirror, first of all, we need to know where do we want the reflecting surface? On the inside or the outside? Vex means outwards. That means here we need reflection on the outer side. So where should we paint? On the inside. So first a layer of silver, then a layer of paint containing lead oxide. So we get reflection on the outside. So this is how a convex mirror is made, painted on the inside. So the opaque surface is on the inside and the reflecting surface is on the outside. So this is how we have made convex mirrors and concave mirrors. Now we need to represent them. Let us see how to represent them. So here we know that we have these two types of mirrors, convex and concave. Let us draw their outlines. Now in a convex mirror, we know that the reflection is on the outside. Reflecting surface is on the outside, so we need to paint on the inside, so we give hatching lines on the inside. Similarly, in a concave mirror, reflecting surface is on the inside, so hatching lines on the outside. So if you see here, this surface becomes the reflecting surface and this surface becomes the opaque surface. Similarly, you need to tell which surface is this, reflecting or opaque? Reflecting and that is the opaque surface. So to summarize it, the making of mirrors, we have made two types of mirrors, plane mirror and spherical mirror. For a plane mirror, firstly what we need to do is take a transparent glass sheet, then coat it with a layer of silver and then paint it with a layer of lead oxide to protect it. Similarly, we have made two types of spherical mirrors, convex and concave. Convex means a curve outwards, so reflecting surfaces on the outside. Concave means a curve inwards, so reflecting surfaces on the inside. We know one thing for sure, the side where we paint or the side where we coat, do we get reflection from the same side? No, we get reflection from the opposite side. So for a convex mirror, opaque surface is on the inside, reflecting surface is on the outside. For a concave mirror, reflecting surface is on the inside and the opaque surface on the outside. Hope you have understood. And yes, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.